several campgrounds to see which one we want to go to. Very hazy, smoky, and you can smell campfire. It smells good, but I mean, it's, because campfire smells good, but I mean, it's not, it's, it's a forest fire. But, uh, it's a little smokier than what we thought or anticipated. Um, looking straight up, I do see blue sky, which theoretically would mean, oh, yeah, well, hopefully we'll see stars. Looks like Devil's Post Pile is this way. I think we'll be able to camp maybe within about a half a mile-ish, or a mile of it, hopefully. Anyway, just some beautiful scenery. Trees are phenomenal. Temperature much cooler than where we were several hours ago. At least, at least 10 degrees cooler as of a couple hours ago. So it should be just wonderful weather tonight. Let's hope the air quality isn't too bad. Doesn't seem too bad here right now. It's just like being around a campfire for a day. <laughs> uh, beautiful. So I think we should be able to find a hammock anchor suitable for sleeping without a problem here. <laughs> Maybe even set up a slack line. Hey, hey. Oh, my foot allows me to slack line. Well, we'll see you as we get closer to camp. Oh, I have one. All right, we're checking out campsites near uh, Devil's Stockpile. Oh, we came across. All right, well, we are, uh, we found a camp, campsite number four, and uh, here it is. We got a little table set up, got a rope set up here, basically so we can have this light at night shining on us at the table while we talk and discuss our plans. Um, we got the hammock set up over here. My hammock, chameleon. There's Brian's all set up. And we got some firewood, just about a seven bucks for the firewood down here. We got some pretty cool bear boxes. Check this out. Okay, this is a bear box, which means only a bear can open it. So you got to grab this handle. Make sure no bears are lurking so they don't know how to do this. So, put this key over the, the thing there and turn. And it locks it. Nice big bear box. Basically, uh, oh, I didn't record that. All right, so the trick is, if a bear is in the area or you see a bear, you simply open this up, jump inside, close the doors, and you'll be safe from being eaten. <laughs> Straight from the horse's mouth. All right, bear with me. <laughs> Let me be frank, Shirley. Hey. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to go uh, south. Is that south? No, west. Along the trail to try to find the... Um, Devil's stockpile? Post pile. Post pile. Devil's post pile. I keep calling it the wrong thing. Yeah, we got our climbing shoes with us. But um, we're just going to do some bouldering and just uh, preliminarily scout it out. So we have time to come back for dinner. We're going to put our climbing shoes on, play around, do some bouldering. We're just going to scope it out. We've never been here before. 
how top ropeable is it? How lead climbable is it? Is it have, uh, are there any bolts or anything? So we're not bringing any ropes, but we will see you there. There we are, the trail for Devil's Post, po post Pile. All this bark, this looks like it's from this tree. Old Lieutenant Barkless. one but she looks kind of dead but a beautiful tree <laughs> amazing it's just beautiful out here we got a pile of rock over to our, our yeah. left here we're yeah. just starting to get the glimpse of the back side i believe up in here of the devil's post pile so we're pretty excited to see what it holds oh yes we're about halfway there we got about a quarter mile to go see you soon all right here's one of those like crystal pieces let me look up the hill. There's a few more. Oh, at the base of this beautiful structure. See some really weird shapes there towards the back side of it. scramble up to the base you think okay. I think we should scramble up to the base of it yeah so it's like I can definitely see there's some of those cracks you're like yeah so good climbing opportunity we're getting excited to check it out and then wah, wah. federal regulations prohibit climbing on the columns and talus rock pile at the base of devil's post pile Federal, man. It's not even a local crime. It's a federal offense, yeah, man. We get locked away for life as he climbs up the pieces. Wait, the feds are coming. Oh, someone's approaching. <laughs> Big tourists. Coming through. Shaped by fire and ice, molten lava and glacial ice shape this unusual rock columns. Basaltic lava more than 400 feet deep filled this narrow valley nearly 100,000 years ago. As the lava cooled, cracks formed on the surface to release built-up tension. These cracks formed into hexagons, one of nature's most efficient and stable shapes. The cracks deepened as the interior cooled to form basaltic columns. During the last ice age, about 20,000 years ago, a glacier exposed this cliff of columns and polished the top surface. The post pile continues to be sculpted by weathering and earthquakes that break the change, that break and change the formation. So we're gonna head to the uh, top side, the back side of it, and get a view from the from the upper part. Apparently, glaciers came through and scraped off the tops of these and left them at a nice fine polish. So theoretically, it might look like a very expensive tile floor up at the top. So we're gonna check that out. Let you know what it looks like. We'll see you up there. Okay, I said we we're gonna go to the top of the bluff of those columns but there's a cool thing over here we're going to check out look at this oh, there's 
that for beautiful? And across the canyon is another beautiful canyon wall towering up over us. Very nice. I thought you might enjoy this before we go to the top of the columns. All right, approaching the top of this area. Let's see what it says. I'm 20 degrees. Look at this, tiled and glazed for your pleasure. You can see these scratch marks left in the top of these from the, uh, the glacier as it slid across, decapitating the tops, leaving beautiful, almost symmetrically identical sort of tiles. Look at the view, it's domed over. Ironically enough, it's another dome. So how did this get a dome shape? If a glacier slid over, it should have given it a flat top. So where's this dome uh, thing? So I'm seeing striations here, cracks and scratches from the uh, glacier. But would a glacier round do a dome? Now a glacier will typically create U-shaped valleys, parabolically shaped U, valleys but not dome this is fascinating but there's domes all over here so i'm interested in that but this is amazing look at <laughs> these shapes and look at how a tree grows out of that that's pretty impressive wow wow look at the pretty little bench way down there Warning, I can't read this sign. Let me get closer. Ah! <laughs> oh, There's some guys hanging out on that little cliff edge over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they saw me. It was too much noise. <laughs> 